we have our own reasons why we are here and being the vocations director of Holy Apostle Senior Seminary, I'm hoping that some single man would say yes to the call to the priesthood in the Bible. And I'm praying that their girlfriend will touch them and say, go for it, brother. <laughs> Choose to be brave, you know, but become, I mean, belong, believe, become. Our Bible passage says, Behold, I will make all things new. Our life five years from now will be dictated by the books we read and the people we are with. I'm saying this not because we are in Holy Book. Ano po? <laughs> Wala ako investment dito. Discount charge lang. Ano po? Ha? But this is true. Your life, my life, will be dictated by the people we are with and the books we read. Our belongingness speaks of our belief that will dictate what we will become. Our belongingness will speak or speak of our belief that will dictate what we will become. It is not enough that you desire to become someone. You have to do something to achieve it. To achieve it. Ano po? Sadyang may mga bagay na hindi pwedeng puro dasalam. Kailangan pumilas. Ano po? Tayo mga Pilipino, kaugalian natin, lalong-lalo ng mga dalaga sa kasalan na nakaagaw ng bulaklak pagkatapos. Di ba ba? Nagsisikuhan, hari na way, pag nakuha niya ang bulaklak, siya ang kasunod na ikakasal. Hanggang ngayon, ganun yan. Ano po? Pero ito po ang masasabi ko sa ating katalagahan. Ano po? Maagaw niya man lahat ng bulaklak sa lahat ng kasal. Kung wala namang naliligaw sa inyo, huwag niyo aasahan kay ikakasal. Ano po? Tabi, tabi. Ano po ha? Kasi kung yan, kung yan yun lang ang ating paniniwala, hindi sana gawin natin yan sa patay. Hindi po ba natin. Na pagkatapos ng kasal, ay pagkatapos ng tibig, ibabato ng namatayan ng bulaklak. Ang makasalo, siyang kasunod. Ay baka wala akong sumama. Ano po? I belong. God has chosen us in Him before we were born. According to Baumester, the need for power, intimacy, approval, achievement, and affiliation are all driven from the need to belong. Take note. Are all driven because of this need to belong. Human culture is compelled and conditioned by the pressure to belong. Not really to be successful. Even the desire to be successful is because of the need to belong. The need to belong. As much as people refuse to believe it, the company you keep does have an impact and influence in your choices. Kaya nga po, itanong ninyo kung sino ang inyong mga kaibigan. Kung sino ang madalas niyong kasama. Di po ba? Birds on the same feather flock together. And it is always true also that birds of the same flock Feathers together. That's true. Ang magkakakulay, madalas magkakasama. Pero ang madalas magkakasama, nagkukulayan. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. Dahil mas madalas kasama yung mga may, may anak ko dito, ng anak ninyo kailang mga barkada, they become like their friends not the children you want them to be. Ask. Look at this. This this picture was taken during Undoy, ano po, at Manila Bay. Because of the need to belong, you can do a lot of crazy things. Di ba? 
Na-imagine nyo ba yung ginagawa ng mga yan? Nagtatawa na yan, di ba, no? Ang madapa, kawawa, di ba ba, no? Kasi ang magkakaibigan, gano'n eh. Pagtatawa na ka muna bago ka pulutin, di ba ba, no? But because of the need to belong, they will do a lot of crazy things. They will do a lot of crazy things. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, even the work they want to be part of is not necessarily about career, but because of the need to belong. According to studies, some people would go and take drugs not because they are problematic, but because of the need to belong. The need to belong. That need is always in our hearts. Another, I know who made this, this picture. Diba? Sorry for the words. Ang hindi tumalo ni Makla. Diba, no? Kaya naiwan yung babae sa itaas. The need to belong. The need to belong. It goes beyond reasons and logic. It goes beyond reasons and logic. The pressure to belong. With what? will push you to do things even you do not like. But what is beautiful being this sense of belongingness? Just recently in Yolanda, because of this need to belong and being part of with someone, kahit wala na yung bahay mo, you can still laugh and be happy. What is really important is the sense of belongingness. Kaya tayo kung mga Pilipino may kasabihan tayo, hindi bali nang nagdidildil ng asin, basta tayo magkakaibigan, kaysa tayo kumakain ng karne na tayo'y magkaaway. There's a sense of belongingness. Meal is always about belongingness hindi ka kumakain na kasalo ang iyong kaaway. At kahit masarap, hindi mo tinitikman. Naro ng pag-ihinalang, may naso niya. Hindi ba man? Pwede niyo na dito na. This sense of belongingness also gives us a sense of security. But from Mother Teresa of Calcutta, being unwanted, unloved, uncared, uncared for, forgotten by everybody, I think that is a much greater hunger, a much greater poverty than the person who has nothing to eat. Who has nothing to eat. Sometimes, eating alone is one of the saddest moments of your life. Eating alone. There's always this need to be wanted. People are willing to commit sin just to be loved. Do you really believe those who have been part of fraternities that being part of it, there is a certain sense of conviction that you want to embrace with this group trying to inculcate in your mind. Sometimes you don't care. I simply want to belong to these people. I simply want to belong. And look at this. This need for belongingness comes from one word, and we call it love. Love is not a desire for beauty. It is a yearning for completion. Belongingness gives us a sense of completion. A brother, please, 
has a pet, a dog, and a parrot. Ano po? Binibiro ko yan, binibiro ko. Sabi ko, sino sa dalawang ito ang merong sabi nga ay na wala ang sense of identity. Sabay kumakain, kinakain ng ibon yung dog food. Ano po? Sabi ko, matakot ka niya, ano pa niya. Baka pagdating na parang, kumakahol ang parang. No in big room, kumakahol na. Kasi narinig na sa kaibigan mo, di ba? Na? The sense of belongingness. Ano po? Maganda pagtunan ng pansin niya. Pagka may sanang bukang bibig mo, ay hindi dahil produkto ng iyong kalooban, kundi dinidikta na ngayong madalas na kasama. Community is not just about being together, it is about doing life together. When we talk about belongingness, we don't simply talk about being together. We do life together. We do life together. Pathways invites us to this kind of life, to this kind of life, offering us a kind of life that hopefully help us to decide to become the person we ought to be rather than the person we want to be. Because our greatest mistake in life, my brothers and sisters, is not to do the wrong thing. Our greatest mistake in life is to do the right thing and yet it is not what God wants you to do. Our greatest mistake in life is to do the right thing and yet it is not what God wants you to do. You don't ask the question, is this what God wants me to do? Because the common question is, mali ba ito o tama? At dahil tama ang ginagawa mo, so, dapat ipagpatuloy lang kasi tama. Pero yun ang madalas na magkakamali. Ang gawin ang tama, pero hindi yun ang pinagagawa sa iyo ng Diyos. In today's Gospel, a rich young man ran after Jesus, knelt down and asked the question, What must I do to inherit eternal life? And God said, Do the law. After after enumerating the law, the young man said, I have done it since I was young. And God said, Then sell what you have, give it to the poor, and follow me. Why? Because doing the law is the minimum of love. And you cannot simply go to heaven by simply doing the law. Hindi sapat ang ginagawa ang tama na walang pagmamahal sa Diyos. Mga minamahal ng mga kapatid, maraming beses ko po ito sinasabi. Kaya mong magtiis, magbigay, magsakripisyo, mag-alay, ano ba? Kaya mong gumawa ng kung ano-anong bagay na walang pagmamahal. Pero kung ikaw ay nagmamahal, hindi ka pwedeng magmahal na hindi ka marunong magtiis hindi ka pwede magmahal na hindi ka marunong maglingkod. Hindi ka pwede magmahal na hindi ka marunong magpatawan. Pwede kang magsimba na walang pagmamahal. Kasi inaantay mo lang yung oras ng sini. Kaya yung iba nagsisimba, lalong-lalo ng paglingkod. Unang pagbasa, unang pagtulog. Ikalawang pagbasa, Ikalawang pagtulog. Humili ang mahaba-habang pagtulog. Kaya nakasimba na, nakatulog pa. At marami niya sa simba. Marami. Bakit? Ang sinisisi nila palagi ang pari. Kawawa naman si Father. Kawawa naman. Kasi maitim eh. Mali eh. Mahina ang boses. Pero pag niyayaya mo, sinasabi mo sa mga magulang, palaging merong malungkot na sa'yo. Nanay, 
Pwede yung magpare anak mo. Ano sagot ng nanay? Huwag pa dyan. Bakit ako? Sayang. Yan ang malupot na sagot. Sayang ang pagpapare. Ang mas masakit, pag tinanong mo, bakit ako no sayang? Huwag mo eh. <laughs> Yun ang masakit na sagot. Di ba na? Ha? Pagit pa kami pare. <laughs> Let's do life together. Brothers and sisters, what is Pathways all about? Pathways reminds us that we are created for a community fashioned for fellowship. Formed for a family and none of us can fulfill God's purpose by ourselves. You can never go to heaven alone. You can never go to heaven alone. Or, you can never go to hell alone. Huwag nyo lang ako isasama. We are being put together, joined together, built together, members together, heirs together, fitted together, held together, and will be caught up together. Pag tinanong niyo yung mga bata, anak! Ba't kayo bang bagsak mo yun? Ano sagot ng malilito bata, mga bata mo? Huwag na kayong magalit, nanay. Marami naman ka. <laughs> Di ba? That's a sense of belongingness. What's the use of pasado na ikaw lang? Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Pero pag tinanong niyo po matatanda, why are you doing what you're doing? Ano sagot nila? Who cares? Everybody is doing it. In English lang. Di ba ba? This is my body, which is for you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink in remembrance of me. Pope Francis said, you can never be a good Christian and then never be a good Catholic without participating the, in the Eucharist. What comes to your word, what comes to your mind, looking at the word, remember. Remember. To remember is to recall. But the Eucharist, the word remember, doesn't simply mean to recall. It means remember. To go back to my own sense of belongingness. Attending the Eucharist helped me become again a member of a church that God made for all of us. We have to be a member. In one of my thought, talks, there are four non-negotiable essentials in Christian life. Private prayer and private morality, mellowness of heart and spirit, social justice, and number four is community as a constitutive element of true worship. You can never become a true Christian apart from any community. You have to be part of a community that belongs to God. Hopefully, the church is your family. The church is your family. Father, pero ang init sa simbahan. Father, ang hirap ng parking. Sa TV na lang ako. Mali po ba yun? Ang sagot ko po doon ay hindi po. Okay lang po magsimba sa TV. Okay lang po yun. Kaya lang, para po yun sa mga may sakit. At para po, okay sa inyo na kayo nagsisimba sa TV, magkakasakit kayo. So, mamili kayo. Di ba? Mamili kayo. Di ba ba? Kasi kahit anong mood, mood na muso nyo sa inyong telebisyon, alikabok lang ang makukuha ninyo. At kahit kailan, di nyo matatanggap ang katawan ni Kristo. Hindi po ba? 
Eh kasi kung nagsisipa ka sa TV, pwede naka-sure, baka-backup eh. <laughs> Tapos, hindi ko tayo mag-home na yun ni Padre Lipan One Channel. <laughs> diba, ano? Ay, sorry. Maganda pong pagtunan ng pansin yun. Maganda pong pagtunan ng pansin. There is a certain burden if you want to be known. Believe. I believe. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. Pope Francis said, let us not simply be men of good Fridays. Let us be among the Easter people. Let us be among the Easter people. I believe in the living God. I believe in the living God. Do you really believe in the living God? Is there, did you allow God or have you allowed God to work in your life allowing Him to be someone who is alive, present in your life? Sometimes our belief is that God is far away there looking at me. From a distance. Ba, gana, gana? Pope Benedict said, Christian faith and ethics do not wish to stifle love, but to make it healthy, strong, and truly free. This is the exact meaning of the Ten Commandments which are not a series of no's, but a great yes. To love and to lie. To love and to lie. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, when we talk about freedom, it doesn't mean it gives you the power to do everything you want. When, God, when, when, when the church speaks of freedom, it is about what? Choosing the right thing. Magkaiba po ang matalino sa marunong. Ang matalino, alam ang tama at mali. Ang marunong, ginagawa ang tama. Iniiwasan ang mali. Marami sa atin, matalino lang. Hindi po ba? Matalino lang. Kaya dinagdaga nila ang Ten Commandments. Ang 11 ay, kung magkakasala ka, huwag kang magpapahuli. <laughs> Number 12, pag nahuli ka, huwag na huwag kang pahuli. <laughs> Di ba? Ano? 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 Yung lang ang minimorya. Yung 1 to 10, hindi. Di ba? Ano? Kasi hindi yun ang mahalaga. Hindi yun ang mahalaga. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, let us put this in something concrete. Yung mga nag-opisino, ano ba? Anong common temptation? Nag-uwi ako ng coffin man, brown envelope, folder, nagsiserox ako ng kung ano man, ginagamit ko ang computer ng or Facebook. Di ba ganyan, ano? Ito lang po ang masasabi ko sa inyo. Pag kayo po ay nakapila na papunta sa impyerno, <laughs> mahaba ang pila kasi marami. Ano po? <laughs> Dahil naiinib kayo, tatanungin niyo yung mga taong nasa harapan ninyo, ba't ko kayo pupunta sa impyerno? Sasabihin nung nasa una, ay ako ay nagnakaw ng 10 million. Wow! Kayo po, ano pong, ano pong ginawa niyo? Ako po ay ng babae. Tapos lahat titingin sa iyo, ikaw anong ginawa mo? Nag-uwi ako ng brown envelope. <laughs> Hindi sulit. <laughs> Hindi sulit. Dabihan ninyo. Diba? Can you imagine you go to hell for a brown envelope? Kung punta ka sa impero dahil sa nag-uwi ka ng popon ba, dapat rim-rim. Diba? No? <laughs> 
We simply think, ay, hindi naman kasi pala kayo kasakano. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, to whom much is given, much is required. The scale is based on our giftedness. It is based in our giftedness. Maraming beses ko rin po sinasabi ito. Hindi lahat na nagkamali, nagkasala. Pero lahat na nagkasala, nagkamali. Ano po? Yes, Jesus. <laughs> Hindi lahat na nagkamali, nagkasala. Pero lahat na nagkasala, nagkamali. Ano po yung, ano po yun? Ano ba, kayo po yun, yun may 3 in 1 doon, may 3 in 1. Pinili ko yung original. Ano ba? Nagpunta kasi dispenser. Instead na mainit na tubig, malamig ka na ilagay din mo. Di ba? Hindi yung kasalanan. May tawag ito. Pagkakamali. Yung iniisip niyo ang pagkakasala. Kita niyo na. Uli sa iniisip. Ano po? Wait, nandito pala. Ba't ayaw? Pintutin mo na lang. Yan. Mother Angelica said, Holiness is not for wings, and the cross is not negotiable, sweet power. Diba? It is a requirement. Darling, ano po? Holiness is not for wings, and the cross is not negotiable, it is a requirement. It is a requirement. Next. If you surely believe in God, you surely have to believe in evil. The church has been saying this, that what people or those who do not believe in God was trying to inculcate among men, including women, is the belief that hell doesn't exist. And Satan is not true. The world is trying to tell your children, even yourself, that hell does not exist. And Satan is not true. Kaya, enjoy life. Enjoy. Pero sasabihin ko naman sa inyo, sulitin ninyo kung hindi kayo interesado sa namin. Enjoy. Be the best sinner you can be. At least you can be an example as the best sinner. A Christian is one who makes it easier for other people to believe in God. This is the sad story. This is the sad story. This is a fact that you and I cannot deny. Mahatma Gandhi said, I believe in Jesus. I believe in the Christ you profess. It is the Christian I cannot believe. That's why the people of today are not looking for teachings. They are all looking for witnesses. Papa, nung ikaw ba'y maliit, malagi ka ba nagsisimba? Sagot ng tatay, oo oh, naman anak, kaya nga hanggang ngayon nagsisimba ko eh. Sabi ng anak, oh, di na lang ako nagsisimba. Bakit naman? Wala akong pinagkakiba. Mahirap po yun eh. Sometimes it is difficult to believe because we are not seeing someone that is attractive enough that I can belong myself. I can belong myself. 
Ask yourself. Pope Francis said, the only way for the church to grow is to be attractive. To be attractive and not to proselytize. If we want to grow as a church, we must be attractive. In what way we can be attractive? Hopefully, we are among those who can make a stand. We are those, we are among those who can make a stand. Meron po kaming biruan mga pare. Because this is a true story. Ano po? Sasabihin ko po ito sa iyo dahil hindi ko po sinisiraan yung aking kapwa pare. Ano po? Minsan, nagpapakumbisan po siya sa kiyapo. Alam po, nagpapakumbisan sa kiyapo. Sorry for the words. Pagka minsan, hindi niya maiwasan. Maraming may sayad sa simbahan. Hindi po pa naman may sayad. Ano po? Okay lang yun as long hindi kayo yun. Ano po? So, pero namumpisan, pagluhod niya, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Patawarin mo po ako, Padre, ako po yung bendisyon na sapagat ako'y nagkasal. At ano po ang iyong kasalanan? Ako po'y nakapatay. Ano ibig mo sabihin? Nakabaril po ako. Ay nasa na baril? Dala ko po, Padre. Gusto mo bang ibigay sa akin? Hindi po, Padre. Dinadala ko yung palagi. Kasi alam mo, mauulit pa rin ito. Paano natin matitigil yan? Kung dala-dala mo yan. Ano ba ang tunay na dahilan kung bakit ka nakakapatay? Dala mo ng silakbo ng damdamin. Dala ng aking pagkainis at pagkagalit sa mga tao nagsasabing sila'y naniniwana sa Diyos. <laughs> Gusto na silipin ni Padre yung di ba yung ano yun? Baka, baka kita yun. Sabi, bigla daw sinabi na nung umpisa. Ikaw pa, Padre? Naginiwala ko na sa Diyos. Katatawa kayo kasi hindi kayo yun eh. Di ba ba? Sabi daw nung pare, well, paminsan-minsan. <laughs> pare yun! Di ba? Sabi nga ni Bishop Sok, saya. Sana may martyr na tayo ngayon. Sabi nung pare, sana nung kong Bishop, yung walang hindi naman may sayang na nakabiktima sa akin. Pero marami sa atin can make a stand. Some of us cannot even pray before we eat in public. Nakakalimutan mo magdasal, pero hindi mo nakakalimutan kuna ng picture. <laughs> Kasi kailangan i-upload sa Facebook. Hindi mo ba? Bakit? Nakakahiyang nakikita ako ay nagdangasan. I took this picture personally. Ano po? I mean, a picture. I, I took a, a picture of the picture. Hindi niyo nga po lang. Hindi kami magkabats na ito. <laughs> si Padre Pio po yan. <laughs> it is one of the hidden pictures of Padre Pio. It was hidden because even the Vatican demanded that he be put in seclusion because people are coming to the church not because they believe in God but because they want to see the stigmata. Ano pa? And Padre Pio said, yes, yes. If I will simply draw people to me, I rather not be seen. I rather not be seen. Pero napakaganda po rin sinabi niya. Stigmata is not a sign of holiness. Stigmata is not a sign of holiness. Holiness is a continuous struggle of doing the will of God, especially in the moment where your hearts long for the other one. 
Faith, it does not make things easy, it makes things possible. Bakit ayaw natin maniwala? Because most of the time, we romanticize, romanticize faith. Yung bang pag ako'y naniwala, lahat dadali. Hindi. Ang katotohanan ay palaging merong pagsubok ang pananampalataya. There was a time, there was a time that I was tasked, tasked to be in charge of the physical and technical group in one of the activities of the Archdiocese of Manila. It is in celebration of the anniversary of the encyclical Humanity Day. I was not in the meeting. Somebody put my name into it. You know, Pope? That is the cardinal rule. Never absent yourself in a meeting. You know, anyway, when I ask, saan po gagawin ito? Gagawin po sa UST. I have nothing against UST. Pero problema do sa ground sa UST, dahil doon po ako matin ng prayer meeting na ako'y nasa college, magkasundo lang ang mga daga na umihi ng sabay-sabay. Bumabahal. Sabi ka, bakit doon? Simple nga sagot, libre. Kaya, di ba? No? Libre. So, pinagdadasal ko, one month before, Lord, sana walang pula, walang pula, walang pula. Araw-araw na misa, walang pula, walang pula. Lo and behold, the night before the event, ang mula. Ganyan, kabuti ang Diyos. Di ba? No? Sabi ko, natutulog ako, Lord, namumutya ka na naman. Pero wala na akong magagawa. Natulog ako. Gumising ko man ng madaling araw, pinuntahan ko ako ang ground ng UST. Konti lang ang maputi. Sabi ko, pwede na ito, Lord. Pwede na ito. Pero sana uminit sa maghapo ito. When we're setting up the stage for the Eucharistic celebration, lo and behold, nagsisimula kumangbol. Sabi ko, Lord, nag-usap na tayo dito. <laughs> ang pinag-usapan natin, huwag umulan, pinag-umulan niyo. Ito na lang ang aking pakiusap. Huwag umulan na. Bakit umangbol? Di ba? And the more you pray, the more it drizzles. Di ba, no? Ganyan ang Diyos. Yung pag kung kailan mo inanoid, saka namatay. Isusumpa ako ng mga anak nito. Di ba? Ang hirap ng ganun. Anyway, I was the far, at the far end of the, of the, of the field. And, the park. and then suddenly, they start putting on tents above the altar table. Looking from afar, hindi mo na makita yung altar. Tent na lang. Ano po? So, nagpunta po ko sa naman. Sabi ko, bakit may tent? Sabi po ng liturgies. Well, we have to be ready. Mahirap yung tayo ng mimisa. Biglang umulan. Anong gagawin natin? Magtatakbuhan tayo. Ang rule po ng simbahan ay you can negotiate with the terrorists but not with the liturgies. <laughs> so, nanalo po siya. Sabi po nung nirenta namin ilaw, Father, what's the use of this spotlight? What we can see are tents. We cannot even see people under the tent. Sabi ko, ano ka, gawin natin? Aba, ipaalis nyo ang tent. Aba, ikaw kaya magsabi dyan. Kahit maliit yan, matapang na yan. <laughs> So I prayed, I went again to the far end of the field and praying, Lord, please stop the rain. And the Lord said, remove the tent and I will stop the rain. I can hear it clear. Remove the tent and I will stop the rain. And I said, Lord, stop the rain and I will remove the tent. Lord said, 
remove the tent and I will stop the rain. And I said, Lord, you don't understand. <laughs> stop the rain and I will remove the tent. Third time God said, remove the tent and I will stop the rain. Nakalimutan ko. Diyos na pala ang kausap. Okay, thy will be done. Pero huwag mo kayo papahiyan dito na lang. Huwag mo, huwag mo kayo papahiyan. Nagpunta ko sa stage. Sabi ko doon sa mga tao, Sabi ni Lord, Remove the tent and He will stop the rain. Sabi ng tatlong pari doon, Whose Lord are you talking to? Pati ka po, pari. May ba lang? Anyway, since I was, I was the one in church, they removed the tent. And true enough, God stopped the rain. God stopped the rain. So, natapos namin yung activity. At nung ako yung umakit na si Stay, sinaayos na, pinagpapasalaman na ako. Bumalik yung tatlong pari. Father, would you please pray with us that the Holy Father will come in our 450th anniversary. And I said to the three priests, Who's Lord you want to be? <laughs> Faith does not make things easy. It makes things possible. Yes. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. I think this is the problem of many Christians, many Catholics. We don't pray. We don't pray. We dictate. Our common problem is we don't pray. We dictate. In our problems, we tell God, this is our problem. And we dictate God, we dictate God to, to God how the problem will be solved. Yan ang problema. Yan ang problema. You need to belong to people with common faith. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I rather ask and not receive than fail to receive because I did not ask. I rather ask and not receive than fail to receive because I did not ask. A lot of people complain before God for not receiving what they have been praying but has forgotten to say thank you for the things they receive even they have not asked. Marami po sa atin na nagre-reklamo dahil hindi pinigay sa kanila ng Diyos sa kanilang mga pinagdadasal, pero nakakalimutang magpasalamat sa mga bagay na kanilang tinanggap kahit hindi nila hiningi. Hindi po ba? Gawin niya yan mamayang gabi para may maalala kayo sa recollection na ito. Ayun. Because many of us would simply pray, Lord, grant me a restful sleep. That's a common prayer. Pag wala kang meeting sa umaga, you don't pray, Lord, sana maaga ako magising. Ang palaging panalangin lang ay, Lord, grant me a restful sleep. Hello? Hi. Mamayang gabi, pag tulog ninyo, say that prayer and say, Lord, grant me a restful sleep. Hanggang doon lang. Don't bother to say, wake me up tomorrow. <laughs> Just say that. But my advice is, please dress properly. <laughs> diba, no? Sabi niyo ba, may ang We don't say, we don't wake up in the morning saying, thank you, Lord. Because we tend to believe that we are entitled to wake up in the morning. That is our common mistake. The sense of entitlement. That's why we cease to become grateful. I assure you, 
You are much stronger than you think. You are much stronger than you think. Brothers and sisters, we have a God who has given His only begotten Son. Is there anything that God will not give you? Wala. You are much stronger than you think. Look at the adrenaline rush. Pag kayo'y hinahabol ng aso, walang mataas na bako at walang mabagal na tumatakbo. Hindi niya naman nagawa niyo. The adrenaline rush. Di ba ano? Pag ikaw ay in love, kaya mo magpuya, magpagod, maghutom. Tinitingnan mo po yung mga nanliligaw sa SM na po, hindi may sabi na ano 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 pupunta yan sa Jollibee, McDonald's. Ano? At sasabihin pa niya sa babae, huwag po ka na ako ng hamburger. Ano gusto mo? Hamburger. Gawin ka cheeseburger. Ano ba? <laughs> ah, tama na. Hindi, lagi ako ng iced tea. Di ba na? Yan ang mga naliligang. Yung mga may asawa, alam mo kasi yun. Paglabas ng mga, mga, mga babae, isusuot na yung helmet, i-start na mo. Mam! 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 Paglabas ng buwan, bilis ako! Kanina pa ako dito! <laughs> Di ba, ano? Nawala ang pag-ibig eh. Ha? Nawala ang pag-ibig na ako. Believe deep, deep down in your heart that you're distinct to your great friends. My brothers and sisters, when you go home tonight, please keep this in your heart. You are distinct to do great things. What is that? I do not know. But one thing I'm sure, we are destined to do great things. You are destined to do great things. Just keep the faith. Just keep the faith. Look at this. Look at that. No? Terimain ko yan, hindi ko magawa. <laughs> If a boy can do it, I believe I can do it. Pero ilang days ko. Wala. Simple lang, pero napakaganda. Hindi po ba? Simple lang, pero napakaganda. We are not called to do extraordinary thing. We are called to do ordinary thing with extraordinary love. The greatness, the greatness that God is expecting you to do is to do ordinary things with extraordinary love. With extraordinary love. Third, I become. We become what we think. We become what we think. Please continue thinking. Continue thinking. Sabi ng mga nanay sa mga anak, Anak, pwede ba? Huwag ka nang tanong ng tanong. Bakit po, Mama? Nakakapagod eh. Di ba, no? Nakakapagod eh. Kaya kung kayo ay hindi na mapagod, baka hindi na kayo nag-iisip. Ano po? Ting! Ting! Anak, bumili ka ng toyo. Bakit? Huwag ka nang tanong ng tanong. Pagbalik, anak, nakalimutan mo, bumili ka ng suwa. Bakit, mama? Bakit nakita mo ng tanong? Bumili ka ng suwa. Pagbalik, anak, nakalimutan mo ang bako. Ha? Bakit, mama? Bakit nakita mo ng tanong? Diba? Lumaki ang dalaga, naging dalaga. Nanood na si, nagka-boyfriend, inakbay ng boyfriend. 
Maya-maya. Hindi po mga masaselang bahagi ng katawan. Sabi ng babae, paano mo ginagawa yan? Sabi ng lalaki, ano na magtanong kayo nga ka lang. Sabi ni mama. <laughs> Behold, I make all things new. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, if you keep doing what you have been doing, then you will continue to get what you have been getting. If you continue doing what you have been doing, then you will continue to get what you have been getting. God said, Behold, I make all things new. Don't wait for the world to change. Wait or decide to, to change yourself. Don't confuse your path with your destination. Just because it's stormy, now doesn't mean you aren't headed for sunshine. <clears throat> Kaya nagbabago, nagbabago, ay ano, kasi bakit mahirap? Sabi nila madali lang. Di po ba? Don't confuse. Because you have to, you have to accept that happiness is a way to travel, not a destination. Hello? You have the power to be happy. How? You have to decide to be happy. You have to be happy. If you are not happy, it is because it is your decision. Hindi, Father, dahil po ng aking kaibigan, then it was your decision to allow your friends to make you unhappy. Because if you make others or give others the power to make you happy, then you are giving them the power to make you unhappy. You have the power to be happy. Just decide to be happy. Happiness is a choice. Joy is a gift. Happiness is a joy, is a choice. Joy is a gift. When God wants to accomplish a work, He always prepares His workers and puts them in the right places at the right time. You might not be, you might not know this, but this might be the right place. This might be the right time. Nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens by coincidence. God has a way of putting us into a situation where at the end, at the end, we will reach the fullness of our potentials. Work for, not, work for a cause, not for a plus. Live life to express, not to impress. Do not strive to make your presence notice, just make your absence. Kaya ka malungkot. Kasi nagpapa-impress ka, wala nang nai-impress. Di ba, ano? Just express. Just express. Di ba? Work for a cause, not for a plus. Wala na. Pagkamisan, pagod na mga taong pumalakpak. Napakalungkot na. Ano po? Wala. Do not make your presence notice, just make your absence felt. In a positive way. Ha? In a positive way. Kasi baka sabihin, Why wala siya? Pasaya natin, no? <laughs> Stop saying I can. Of course you can, you just choose not to. There are three types of people. Those who say I can, I can, I want, and I can. I mean, I will, I can, I want. Three types of people who say I will, I can, I want. Those who say I want contradicts everybody. Those who say I can fail in everything. Only those who say I will 
succeed in life. I will. I will go to heaven. Take the risk and conquer your fears. Ang ganda niya. Di ba, no? Kung gusto mo lumipan, tumulong ka pa. Di ba? Hindi pwede gusto mo. Gusto ko lumipan. Ayaw mo namang umalis doon. Di ba ba? No? Mananabi ako. Mananabi ako. Kaya dami mga pinata ngayon na hanggang pray over lang. Ano? Lord, touch her. Touch her. Allow her to look at me. Ay, hindi, wala mangyayari. Kumilas ka. Ay, hindi. Because there are three types of people. Those who make things happen. Those who wait for things to happen. And there are those who pretend they are not aware of what is happening. Ulitin ko po. Three types of people. Those who make things happen, those who wait for things to happen, and those who pretend they are not aware of what is happening. Those who pretend they are not aware of what is happening because they don't want to involve themselves. I don't think how this may happen. May sakit. Huh? Kawawa naman. Oh, nasa hospital. Isang buwan na. Huh? Ang laki na nga ng utang eh. Ha? Huh? Kawawa naman. Tayo magpapasdahan. Baka may may tutulong tayo. Ha? Huh? Kawawa naman. Ganyan tayo. Ano po? Namatay na. Ha? Huh? Kawawa naman. <laughs> Tapos pag ikaw may sakit, matulang mo lang nakakalala. Di ba? No? Because they also pretend that they are not aware of what is happening. People who wait for things to happen are those who don't want to be responsible. They simply wait because they don't want to be responsible. Only those who are responsible can make things happen. Sometimes it's hard to open your hand, but you need to let go of your pride. You need to let go of your pride. Kahit kailan mga kapatid, wala pang nasisinok, nahihirinan dahil kinain ang pride. Pero marami nang namatay dahil ayaw bitawan niya. It's good to us our sins. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. Why? Because it doesn't mean if you have faith, Fear will go. Faith is not the absence of fear. Faith is the courage to act in spite of my fear. Maganda pong pagtunan ng pansin mo. Sometimes we fail to achieve our greatest potential, fail to do the great things that I am called to do because my fear is greater than my faith. Good things come to those who wait, but better things come to those who work for them. Who work for it. If you want to be promoted, work for it. Work for it. Independent. Puro nobina. Father, bless mo naman ang aming buhon na ng pagkakas. Bakit? Kami po'y pupunga ng board exam. Kayo ba'y nag-aaral? Nagpanobina po. <laughs> Ibabad ko man sa huli wala niya. Hindi kayo papasa. <laughs> Di ba may mga ganun? <laughs> Seeking happiness in material things is a sure way of being unhappy. Why? Because what the world is trying to teach us is the opposite of the truth that you must love people and use things. The world tries to teach us love things and use people. 
The calling is to love people and use things, but the world is telling us love things and use people. Mag-iingat kayo sa kanila. Ang tawag sa kanila ay user friendly. You are only a friend if they can use you. Going back to what I've said earlier, if you make somebody or you give somebody the power to make you happy, then you're giving that person the power to make you unhappy. The same with things. If you make things or allow things to make you happy, then you are giving the thing the power to make you unhappy. Pag nabili ko yung kotse niya, magiging masaya ako. Mayroon mga ganun eh. Pag nabili ko yan, pag natanggap ako dito, talagang magiging masaya ako. Di ba? Katatapos lang ko ng aming live-in discernment center. Ako? With the 70 applicants, ang natira po ay 21 for the second level of discernment. At walang sinabi yan, Father, tanggapin mo na ako. Kasi pag ako po ay tinanggap ninyo sa seminaryong ito, sigurado po ako ako'y magiging masaya. Wow! Ano pa gusto maglingkod sa Diyos? Gusto kong maging masaya. At sabi ko sa ako, pag tinanggap bakit ang iyo, magiging masaya din ba ako? <laughs> diba? Mayroon kayo ko lang masaya, diba? Dapat masaya tayo. Pati, pagdasan mo naman, nasaan ako mga pag-asama na. Bakit naman? Green belt. Kasi ako po'y nalulupot na. Ang sagot ko sa kanya, Toto ay, wag na wag kang mag-asama. Ba't na magpagay? At least ngayon, ikaw pa lang ang malupot. Hindi mo na. Yung mga may asawa, tanongin ninyo. Palagi ba masaya? Di ba? Mabuti ko napangasawa mo, palawa mo na. Pag-isip mo sa mga, good morning. Don't seek happiness and material state. It is a sure way of being unhappy. God is greater than the burdens you are carrying. Cast your burden upon the Lord and He will sustain you. Brothers and sisters, we have a God who will not put down laziness. We have a God who will not condone laziness. The only way to increase a muscle is to carry some weights. Diba, ha? Hindi ka pwede lumaki ang muscle. Ayaw mo magbuhat. Diba? Sabi nga nung isa, sabi ng doctor, Father, the only way to lose weight is to have some sports. Sabi nung pa, sports man. Ba't kanya ang katawan ng father? It is only in the mind. <laughs> Inataka. Sabi ko, okay, sports man. Diba? Wala eh. You have to be responsible. Nakapila kami sa kainan. Ano po? Ang tagal. Gutom na kami. Yung nasa unahan. Ang tagal. Ano po? Ay pala, yung adobo, pinipili yung tabak na harap yung tabak. Sabi niya, hindi masapang ang domo niyo, walang tabak. Pwede kami nasa likod, siya ka siya. Monsignor, bawal sa inyo yung tabak. Ang sagot ba naman ng puti, Monsignor, ay, aanohin pa ang gamot kung di kakakain ang bawat. <laughs>
Hindi ko sinasabi hindi ka luluha. Ang sinasabi ko ay pupunasan ko ang luha mo. Para meron akong punasan, kailangan luluha ka. Di ba ganyan, no? Don't deprive God of wiping away your tears. Di ba, no? Kailangan yun. Ha? Mahirap yung wala kayong problema. Ano po? Lahat ng tao may problema. Kasi kung wala kayong problema, baka kayo yung problema. Ano po? <laughs> Mahirap yan, ano po? Pero ang problema, lahat ng tao mayroong pinagdadaan ng problema. Lahat. Kung ano man ang problema nyo, daanan nyo lang. Huwag kayong mag-i-stambay. Kasi tatagal ang problema. Ano po? Daanan nyo lang. Kinasabi ko nga yun kasi may asawa. Ang problema po ninyo, ay ibinahay ninyo ang problema. Diba? Dahil na yun lang. Do not be content to live a mediocre Christian life. Walk with determination along the path of holiness. My brothers and sisters, holiness is not being pious. Holiness is a relationship between the Creator and the creature. It is a relationship. Do not be afraid to be holy. A sacrifice to be real must cost, must hurt, and must empty ourselves. If you want to belong, and yet you are not yet part of this body, the God, where you want you to belong, you have to let go of the other body. You have to let go. You, if you want to be long, you have to let go. Father, walang oras. Keep this in mind. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven plus eight, fifteen plus nine, 24. We have 24 hours a day. 7 hours of sleep, 8 hours of work, 9 hours in your disposal. May oras ka. Kaya lang sa iba mo inilagaan. You can never find time to pray because you have to make time to pray. 7 8 9 8 hours ang tulog huwag mo nang bawasan mo sa King de Cras 8 hours 8 I mean 7 hours of sleep 8 hours of work please work 8 hours use the 8 hours in working don't use it by dwindling on your Facebook. Diba? Bago mag alas 8, takbuhan, takbuhan ng mamadali para umabot sa time in. Pagdating ng alas 8, bumabagal na silang lahat. At ang una nilang gagawin, magsisiksikan sa comfort room. 15 minutes. Pinipilit ritokehin ng isang bagay na sa ilang hindi na mababago. Diba? 7, 8, 9. You may feel lost and alone. That's good. But God knows exactly where you are. And He has a good plan for your life. Please don't wait for the time that you already what? Depressed, burn out, at loss, because you try to keep running away from God. Ano sabi po ni Saint Augustine? I've been seeking for you, I've been longing for you, late I have known that you are already in my heart. Give God this space. Give God this space. I think this is the invitation for tonight. This is the invitation for tonight. Let us allow ourselves to be invaded by the love of God.
this is the great time of mercy. This is the invitation for tonight. Allow God to invade your heart by His love. Because this is a great time of mercy. Give God the space. Kahit konti na, konti na. But of course, kakayan, kakayan. Do not be afraid. What you will lose, get excited on what you will gain. Do not be afraid of what you will lose. Get excited of what you will gain. You will lose a night in coming to pathways every Monday. But I will assure you, you will gain more because God is a God of time. You might lose some friends, but God will give you a family. God will give you a family. You might lose some dreams, but God will give you some hope. You might lose the world, but God assures you of heaven. You might lose the world, but God assures you of heaven. Brothers and sisters, you are destined to do great things, but you can only do it with God. You can only do it with the right people. A right people, the right people to belong to a right company with, with, that will help you believe what you ought to believe so that you might become what you ought to be. Do not allow your sins to prevent you from receiving God's grace. Stop looking to your past. But simply allow the Lord to talk to you personally. Imagine Him talking to you personally. Imagine Him maybe just smiling before you, saying thank you for being here. Allow the Lord to assure you that He knows your concerns, your problems, your fears, your difficulties. Allow Him to tell you nothing is hidden before me. God knows your failures. God knows everything. But just allow the Lord to bless you. Lord, as we go home tonight, us the grace to hear what we ought to hear, to see what we ought to do, that we might do what we ought to do in Jesus' name. Ama namin yung pagmahal, e dinudulog ko po ang iyong mga anak na narito. Hipuin mo po ang bawat isa sa kanila. Lukuban mo po sila ng iyong banal na espiritu. Ingatan mo sila, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkalaba ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung sino man sa kanila ang merong karamdaman. Ang inuon sa gabing ito ng biyaya, 
pagkaluban mo sila ng kagalingan. Sa gitna ng kalang mga pagkatakot at pangamba, tuwangan mo sila, Panginoon. Sa gitna ng mga pagkakamali at pagkakasala, naway maramdaman niya ang iyong pagmamahal. Ininudulog ko rin po, Panginoon, ang kailang pamilya, ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Nawa po'y paghariyan mo sila ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. At kung ano man po ang kanilang mga panalamin, kung ano man po ang inaasam-asam ng kailang mga puso, sa gitna ng kailang mga pag-alimlangan, Panginoon, nawapoy sila'y kalugdan mo. Ipagkalug mo ang kahilingan ng kalang mga puso at ang bawat isa sa kalang Panginoon ay iyo po pagpalain sa kala ng Ama at ng Anak ng Espiritu Santo. Magandang gabi po sa mga. Thank you, Father Dave. As you all know, Lent is about to start on Wednesday with Ash Wednesday. And we really intended that this Lenten recollection would be a good way for all of us to start this season of Lent. And it is in that context that we would like to invite you to come to Pathways BGC again. And we'd like you to come on Monday, and the following Monday, and the following Monday, and the many other Mondays. Starting this coming Monday, on March 10, we will be starting uh, our Choices Seminar. And it will practically go throughout the entire season of Lent. In fact, you can probably think of it as a live-out retreat. You know, every week of Lent, you're coming to Pathways BGC, and you're attending a live-out retreat. So instead of maybe going through a Saturday-Sunday retreat. This is the retreat that you can take throughout Lent. And in the coming Mondays, there will be different inspirational talks, but also time for you to reflect on your life. This seminar is called Choices because we feel that in life, we have many choices. But not all choices are of the same value. Some choices are more important than others. And we hope that in this seminar, we will be able to share with you really the most important choice that we ought to make in our lives. And I think Lent is a good way, a good time for us to reflect upon that. To be able to look at our lives and say, what are the choices that I have made? What are the choices available to me? What is that most important choice that really makes a difference in my life, not only today, but for the rest? So we'd like to invite all of you, come again. On March 10, same place here, 7.30, we end by 10 for our first talk. Para minsan iniisip ko yung talk ni Father Dave, ito yung talk zero. No? Yung talk zero. Yung talk sa Monday, yung talk one, the first talk of this uh, Choices Seminar. And we will go through that together with this Choices Seminar. Uh, we have a Facebook page. So if you are in Facebook, just uh, search for Pathways BGC, just one word. So, P-A-T-H-W-A-Y-S BGC. Madali lang, no? walang period, walang kama. One word, Pathways BGC. And look for us, you can get the schedule. Uh, if you need to ask questions, you can post a question there. And we'll, we'll hopefully be able to answer it. Okay ba yun? So we hope that uh, tonight has been a good night for you, as I said. What we are really aiming is to help you encounter God. We're not just here to help you get inspired. But the most important thing is that you encounter God. So the talk of Father Dave, to the many points that he has shared with us, hopefully there's one thing that's stuck in your heart that you can pray for tonight before you go to bed. Or maybe during our time of singing, our time of prayer. The most important thing here is God. God is the most important guest in Pathways BGC. Not me, not any of the other leaders, not any of the other servants. And the most important guest here is God.
God. If there is any guest that we would like you to meet, it's him. It's not us. And we hope that by coming to Pathways BGC, we enrich your lives because of your experience of God. Amen? Amen. Let's stand up and I lead you to a closing prayer. And then we'll have a closing song. Wow.